of each class. This is your writing task for week three, day two. So you should have looked at these two pages in your spider book and it's all about clauses, main clauses and subordinate clauses. Don't worry too much about the grammatical terms for these kind of sentences. The most important thing we're going to learn how to do is to write those longer sentences. So we're going to use these words here in the middle of our sentences to help us extend them. So we've got because, while, before, when, after and it. So I'm going to use because to start off with, that's a nice easy one. So I need two parts of my sentence. I need an action that's happening, and then because of that action, something else is going to happen. So I'm going to use a sentence about volcanoes. So I'm going to think, if I live in a village and the volcano is about to erupt, if I could see smoke in the distance, I would probably run away. So I'm going to use, um, start with the, so I'm big capital, the people, imagine this village is full of people, people fled, so fled means run away, if you flee, fled is the past tense of flee, if you flee you're running away really quickly, normally from danger. So the people fled their village, Ooh, it's a bit specific about names though, village. So this is my main clause or my main idea. My verb here is fled. The people fled their village because, so here's my linking word, my conjunction, because the volcano erupt. So it's going to erupt. And actually, I'm going to make it even more dramatic. Was erupting. So it's going to happen right now. Erupting. So this is my subordinate clause or the second part of my sentence. And because it's quite a dramatic sentence, I'm not going to use full stop. I'm going to use an exclamation mark, which we did last week. So my finished sentence the people fled their village because the volcano was erupting. So it's very exciting. Tick off because I've used that. Just going to change my pen. See if I can find another one. And my second sentence, I'm going to use before. So my main part of the sentence my main clause, something's going to happen, and then something else is going to be linked to that, and I'm going to use the word before. So have a little think about home learning. So I've got the name of the person, and then the word Tim. So I'm going to block a capital letter because it is the name of the person, and also it's the start of the sentence. Tim, uh, my main verb, finish. Outside. To play. And I'm just going to finish with a full stop there. It's not a question and nothing really exciting has happened. It's not a dramatic sentence. I can just have my full stop at the end. So Tim finished his home learning before going outside to play. So I've got my main clause, and because of this, we have our subordinate clause, or the second part of our sentence. So what I'd like you to do is have a go by yourself. You can magpie these, you can copy these into your books if you like to get yourself started. 
or you can make some up of your own and then have a go with while, when, after, and that should be it. I'm just going to change that. So, cross that one out. Excuse me. And that. That should be it. Okay, so good one. Okay, thank you.